The, uh, these folks here are getting on airplanes today and tonight uh, to go to Athens. Some of the other passengers are already in Athens. Others are traveling today from all around the country. Uh, there will then be a few days, three days of orientation and training, getting to know each other. Somebody made reference to the nonviolence training that not only are our passengers uh, going to go through, but the passengers on all the boats will have nonviolence training. Um, so that will take several days. The hope is that our people will leave Athens to go to the city where the boat is um, to uh, near the end of the week. The exact date is not set yet uh, for a variety of reasons, not the least of which, as you all know, there's a lot of turmoil in Greece right now, and there might be a harbor strike <laughs> in Greece later this week that could impact uh, on some of this. Uh, hopefully that would just be a one-day strike. Um, but we, so, and weather conditions, other things like that. At some point, though, the boats are leaving from different ports around the Mediterranean, uh, and the, uh, a designated spot has been picked in the Mediterranean for all the boats to, to meet with each other and then sail from there. It takes, probably will take about, once the boat's sailing about, it could take as much as 24 hours to get to that spot and then sail to Gaza. Probably, if all goes well, no harbor strikes, no bad weather, sometime around the 26th, 27th, 28th, somewhere in there. I can't, you know, be more precise. People, as I said, the boats will then converge, gather together uh, in the Mediterranean and sail to Gaza. Let me be very clear. There is no intention, no plan, no interest in sailing the flotilla boats to Israel. This is, we are not going to Israel. The boats are not going to Israel, they're going to Gaza. This is no threat to Israel, uh, and we will not enter Israeli uh, waters. We'll be in the Mediterranean and then uh, approaching Gaza.